In this video, let's do two examples of separation of variables. Here's a classic little differential equation. It shows up in a lot of applications. dy dx equals a constant k times y. I believe we've already stated the solution to this differential equation, but if not, we will soon. This is separable. We can get our y's on one side of this equation. And our x's, or rather dx, the only x term that appears on the other side. And now we can integrate. Before I do with that, I'm going to put an assumption here. And this is not an unreasonable assumption. A lot of real world phenomenon. In fact, I would go so far as to say most of them have to be positive. So the reason I do this is I'd rather not to be stuck with any absolute values. The antiderivative of this would ordinarily have an absolute value in it. But we avoided it via this assumption. Now to solve this, we'll take the exponential of both sides. On the left, the exponential and the logarithm just cancel out. On the right, we could leave that as is, but it's more normal to break this single exponential into two. And let's see if we can simplify that a little. What is the exponential of C. If we plug x equals zero in here, this becomes one. E to the power of zero is one. And we see that y of zero equals e to the c. So this e to the c represents an initial value. And there's our solution via separation of variables. The solutions are exponential. Let's do a second example. This might look like a real mess, but this is a separable differential equation. We'll multiply both sides by this denominator. And we'll multiply both sides 
by dx. And then we will integrate both sides. I carelessly used the word implicit earlier. Let's come back to that. If we integrate the left hand side, we get y cubed minus 5y. We also get a constant of integration but a constant of integration over here and a constant of integration over here, we can combine those constants. And now here we sit. I mean, what we'd ideally like is y equals something involving x, but too bad because we can't get this in and make it into a single y. There's no way to combine these terms. A solution where, I'll say this a little informally for now, the x's and y's are mixed together is called implicit. And it is very common to get implicit solutions using separation of variables. In fact, I'd say it's the rule rather than the exception. We'll talk more about implicit solutions shortly.